Okay, as we say goodbye reluctantly to one of our teammates, it's only fitting we bring Rob Nesbitt actually to our set one last time. He is moving on after how many years here at New Center, Rob? Seven. Seven years going to a new job and a new chapter in Providence, Rhode Island. What are you going to be doing there? I'm going to be reporting for the CBS station there, Channel 12, WPRI, Monday through Friday, luckily, 207. I was so happy to come here because you work on weekends for so long, <laughs> as Amanda knows. Yep. And I got off of it by joining 207 team, and I won't have to go back on it, thank and, goodness. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, this will be the first permanent job you've ever had outside the state of Maine? It is, yeah. I'm leaving the nest. <laughs> a, yeah, yes it is. I'm a little nervous about that because that's the thing is a, a lot of journalists, they come here from out of state for their first job. I was lucky enough to work in my home state, so it's going to be even tougher to leave because I'm not just leaving 207, leaving my home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure parents are not super excited about you going <laughs> I'm not that far away. away. It's worth a road trip, so yeah. they'll be fine. But yeah. <laughs> you took a lot of chances when you were here with us on 207. One of them being sort of this comedic routine you did with your friend Lance yes, called Take It or Leave It. <laughs> and it was something you guys started just kind of on Facebook as, as fun. And yeah. then our news director saw it and yeah. said, hey. Which was surprising to me because we were just doing it on Facebook at home. And then when some people at work saw it, they said, oh, you should do that for TV. And I said, I don't think that's allowed, but I guess <laughs> we will. We had so much fun and we were just authentically ourselves. I don't know anybody who's as funny as he is. So I said, we need to put you on television or computers or something because he's just himself. And it, we had so much fun. You went turkey hunting with Bill. We built a gingerbread house oh from gosh. scratch. We learned a lot of <laughs> lessons and we just had a ton of fun. It was, oh, I'm so glad that we got that opportunity to share ourselves with 207 in that way. In a much different vein, but another thing that I know was memorable and rewarding for you was when Hurricane Irma hit, you, get, you got the opportunity to go down to our sister station in Jacksonville, Florida and help cover that story. I had never seen anything like it. Being a Mainer, I've never been in a hurricane, and that experience was eye-opening. You know, we cover a lot of storm centers here, but nothing compares to what weather can actually do in a hurricane situation. And as devastating as that was, it's the same thing as Mainers, where people were resilient, and you saw them literally rebuilding their homes after complete devastation. And um, as a journalist and a reporter, a really rewarding experience at the same time. Yeah, really, really something to do that. You also got a little personal at one point. Um, you did a series of stories on conversion therapy, and part of that was sharing your own experience. I was so afraid of that just because it was it was a very vulnerable situation, but I thought it was important because I thought if other kids are going through something similar and they need to see somebody who got through it and is okay now, that's the biggest reason to do it is for other people and the biggest the best part of that was the reaction after that air going up in the newsroom and the phone was ringing off the hook of people just wanting to call in and show support and crying and I was like I'm okay now everything's fine but it was so cool just to see the reaction afterwards and the way people just were so supportive because that is tough when you're a journalist and you'd been doing it for for seven years it's tough to kind of turn the camera onto yourself yeah it was one of the first times i think i had ever been interviewed in that sense on the other side of the camera no control over the questions <laughs> or the content and that's a very scary situation like i'm going through right now but that's okay <laughs> worth it for you guys well i love uh, that these clips give uh, a sense of the versatility from you know going turkey hunting with Lance, which is a <laughs> really funny piece, to the conversion therapy, uh, so forth. Just a, a legacy of great storytelling. Now, obviously, you left a big impact on all the people that you work with here at New Center, Maine. We couldn't talk to everybody who has worked with you. That would just take way too long. Yeah. But we did round up a few people to Aww. say their goodbyes. All right, so whenever you're ready. Oh, my. Now I'm nervous, Devo. I feel like I might have to do it a couple times, and I'm really sorry. That's okay. So I'll just talk to you about Rob Nesbitt. Well, let's talk to the camera. Well, I'll talk to the camera about Rob Nesbitt. <laughs> Who is gonna do my contour? No, seriously. You are so much fun to have in the newsroom. A perfect combination of just a wonderful personality and a tremendously talented writer and a hard worker. We're gonna miss you so much, Rob. Rob, it's been fun getting to know you. You are certainly always the life of the party. But where do I start? You know, I feel like um, what do I want to say? Hold on, David, let me think about this. Robert Nesbitt, heading for the great state of Rhode Island. Geez, Rob, that was a great one. Hey, all those Emmys, all those Murrows, hop on your pony and ride with pride, because we are certainly proud of you. And on a personal note, I just want to thank you for all you taught me about 
turkey hunting and other matters in the great outdoors. Be well, go get them. One of the first conversations I had with you, Rob, is I pointed at some of the awards you had and I said, how much did you pay for those? You looked over your desk and said, funny, I don't see any for you at all. I love that about you, you just give it right back. Man, you're gonna do great, we'll miss you here. Rob, you are one of the nicest guys I know. We're really gonna miss you around here. I know Providence isn't that far away. I think it's weird that you're moving to such a small state, but you know, it's your life, I, I guess. Have fun. I feel like, um, so Rob Nesbitt is obviously super fun and outgoing, and his personality is one that you just constantly want to be around. But he's also an amazing teacher, and I remember being a baby intern here um, five years ago, and when I needed help or when I was looking to learn something, um, he was the first person to offer assistance. We're going to miss all of your fantastic storytelling, uh, all the awards you always win, uh, but mostly your friendship, and of course, what happened outside of work that mostly we can't talk about. Uh, we're going to miss you, best of luck, and we know we'll see you soon as you pass back through here to go visit family in the county. Clay and I first met Rob back in 2012. We were working in Bangor and we were the competition. Uh, I've covered trials with Rob and countless stories to remember, but at the end of the day, he was always somebody you could go and have a drink with and have fun with. And all these years later, uh, Clay and I wanted to come back to Maine and Rob actually helped us get this job here back in Portland. So I'm forever grateful to him for that and we are definitely gonna miss him. Does that work? That was great. Okay, wonderful. Oh, that's great. And I'm gonna miss everybody that did that and everyone else and you guys especially. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be here. It's been an amazing seven years. Doing great work and had fun. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, you guys it's are the best. <laughs> Good luck, Rob. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.